everybody, it's Lira from Lira Gaming with a quick Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous video. Today I'm going to go over with you the advanced units that you can recruit in the Crusader system for the Lich Path. Well, recruit is not really the word for it because the Lich Path has a unique method where you gain your special units whenever units die in a combat. And it's based off a certain amount of units dying. So when you start out and unlock Lich in Act 3, you start doing this with Skeleton Warriors, for example. But when you hit Path 5, you will get a random event that will basically occur when you go back to your Citadel. Where Peldon, as you see here, is going to come to you. This is after you crush the Church of Phrasma. So again, this is going to be in Act 5. And he's going to give you this option here. Where you're going to get to choose either one of three choices for units or this final one which would be absolutely crazy if you chose it but your choices are you can basically get armies will replenish liches equal to value of killed enemies over 15,000 after a victory now note this is value of killed enemies not amount of enemies otherwise that would be a little crazy then the other one is a grave knight and finally, we have Mummy Clerics. Now, in just a moment, I'm going to show you what these look like in combat, and we'll look at the stats as well. But I do want to tell you guys about a really cool feature. So, normally, you have a limit on how many units, how many stacks in an army you can have. So, for example, my army currently has six units max, and they were maxed out. And I thought, oh no, do I have to have an empty spot for these to spawn? And the answer is no. So basically what ends up having is you get overflow. So as long as you don't remove units, what's going to end up happening is let's say you pick Lich and then the Lich, you kill en enough enemies and a Lich spawns, you will now have seven out of six and that will be legal. Just make sure not to move out any of the unit types out of the army and you can basically maintain that overage as long as it stays that way. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at each unit individually what they look like in combat let's talk about their stats as well all right guys we'll start by looking at the lich and i do want to point out i'm testing this one unit in the army so i can't really be doing significant damage on them if you were wondering how long it took me to get one it took me about one fight against a level nine army to get one of these liches and that's that 5,000 ratio this is the unit that is easiest to get so first let's look at the stats. So if we look at the stats, they're a spellcasting unit, they're undead, they have 192 hit points each, 21 AC. They're immune to fear, poison, disease, death, sleep. It looks like they're negative energy, cold and electric based. Um, not sure what it means by effect and condition, uh, whether they are, oh, they're immune to nauseated, fatigued, and sickened. So these are, that's everything they're immune to, silly me. Uh, and they, they don't do crazy damage with their basic attacks, 10 to 15 each, but really what you're getting them for is they have these four spells, so they can do Greater Magic Missile, and it does 5d6 times number of units to target, so obviously this is just 5d6 right now, that's not very much, but if you get them stacked up that can get pretty good. You can cast a spell, you can do Enervation. So lowers the minus 4 to ability scores, attack, AC, save throws, and minus 20% penalty to max hit points. That's a death effect, and that's an AoE, so that's pretty cool. And it looks like it's a, uh, huh, all enemies with a 1 foot burst, so it's going to be all like around the unit. Interesting. And then we have dimensional door, so you can teleport. So that's interesting. And uh, range-wise, it looks like they can shoot across the map. So, again, obviously, that's not going to be a lot of damage off one. But I can see how it scales. And they look pretty cool, too. So, that is the Lich. Alright, next we'll be looking at the... Looks like the Dread Knight, or Grave Knight. So, they are uh, Knight units. They have a lot of hit points. 637 hit points. 30 AC. They get damage reduction of 5, which is nice. They are immune to fear, poison, disease... Death, sleep, negative negative energy, being na nauseated, fatigued, and sickened. Really nice stat line. And it looks like they have multiple attacks. So they do 
the 4 to 13 damage with the actual rider and then the horse can also bite and claw so very very interesting no special abilities etc and, and let me show you again i will show off the attack animation here let's plank really quick again do note there's only one of these they are 20,000 value to get, so it takes it took about two battles of level 9 for me to get one uh, armies for me to get this. Your results may vary, of course. So, boom. There is kind of the attack, and he's probably going to get one shot. Oh, well, he didn't get one shot. But pretty cool unit. Uh, like the look of it a lot. All right, and the final unit we're going to look at is the Mummy Clerics. So, I mean, I don't think they're actual mummies. They look like they're humanoid. Uh, like maybe mummy dearest. I don't know. But let's take a look. They have actually the highest AC of any of those units. So even more than the graveyard. Uh, graveyard, which is interesting. So you have 26 AC, 401 health. So more health than them too, which is shocking. Good stats. They're immune to fear, poison, disease, death, sleep. So they're definitely supposed to be like undead or dead or whatever. Even though they look human in this uh, picture, they're immune to negative and uh, ener negative energy and cold, being nauseated, being sickened. It looks like they in melee. They just very interestingly, they also have a bite, a claw, and a staff attack. Not sure how that works. Uh, interesting. Uh, maybe they transform. I don't know. We'll see in a second. And they do have two spells. They have profane healing so we resource 46 plus 4 and then times number of units hit point to the target undead unit so it's undead healer and bestow curse it's an aoe curse that gives minus four penalty attacks and saving throws and let's see what the attack uh, animation looks like looks like he's got pretty good movement too actually Ooh, wow okay so i wonder if it's i think they're like more like a monk oh wow look at that yeah they're definitely uh cool death animation going to ashes so i think uh even though it says clerics they they fight more like monks like the animation what it looks like all right guys i hope you guys uh, enjoyed that look at the advanced units for the lich, myth, lich mythic path as always if you enjoyed this content and want to see more make sure to like subscribe smash that notification bell and i will see you guys in the next video